Now, France's Prime Minister John Castex is to meet the Pope in Rome today, a first high-profile meeting since the highly disturbing revelations on sexual abuse in the church here in France and a subsequent controversy as well about the secret of the confession of those revelations that 216,000 minors were attacked by a priest or someone in the religious community since the 1950s here, which then sparked a row after a leading bishop said confessions about sexual abuse or anything else should remain confidential, though he has now changed his views after a meeting with France's interior minister. Well, we're going to cross then to Rome, talk to our correspondent Hannah Roberts, who joins us from there. So, Hannah, this meeting then comes uh, at a pretty difficult point, really, doesn't it? Yeah, as you say, the timing is awkward, to say the least. This was supposed to be a friendly meeting, uh, celebrating uh, um, 100 years since the restoration of diplomatic relations between France and the Holy See. Instead, it's come just two weeks after this report with its findings of shocking sex abuse. Uh, Francis has already said that this report caused him pain, but Castex will be looking for real answers. Um, at, the, at the heart of the report's findings was this issue that the seal of the confession box was stronger than uh, France's laws, uh, and therefore that priests were report, uh, failing to report abuse. And Francis is um, seen to have been very slow to act on abuse. Uh, only last year, seven years after he started his papacy, did he actually make it mandatory for bishops to uh, report um, abuse to the state, but the culture still has a long way to change. And Hanna, later John Castex is also going to meet with the uh, Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi. Immigration is um, set to be very high on the agenda there at that meeting, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Immigration will be the heart, uh, the heart of the discussions between uh, these two leaders. Uh, it's a very important issue for both countries uh, who deal with it in different ways. Italy's a major transit country and France is where uh, many migrants um, uh, identify as, as their final destination. Now, France has the leadership of the EU from January and uh, wants to put um, migration um, as one of its major priorities, in particular securing the EU's external borders. But Draghi has a slightly different view and wants to take a two-pronged approach by uh, um, acting to secure Libya and therefore reducing migration across the Mediterranean and focusing on redistribution of migrants. So plenty to talk about for them there. Anna, thanks very much. Hannah Roberts, correspondent, uh, talking to us there from Rome.